Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will solve uh, this problem which says to find the reaction forces on a simply supported beam which has a uniformly distributed load. So in the previous video, we solved for point loads only. In this video, we will be solving for uniformly distributed load. So here, look into the problem. It is a simply supported beam. Total length of the beam is 6 meter. At 1 meter, we have a point load 22 kN and in the last 4 meter, we have a uniformly distributed load 5 kN per meter. To solve this type of problem, it is better to draw a free body diagram which shows clearly the forces. By clearly, I mean we have a uniformly distributed load but we will simplify it to point load. We will consider that this load is acting at one point. So that uniformly distributed load, we will convert it into point load. We will redraw the diagram and then we will solve similarly as we solved the previous problem. So here, if I draw the free body diagram, we have the pin support here, 22 kilonewton here. This is one meter, again, one meter here. And here we have the roller support. We have 5 kN per meter here. Now look here, 5 kN per meter, what does it mean? And it is distributed over 4 meter. So if 5 kN is on 1 meter, then how much will be on 4 meter? Just multiply 5 with 4, so we will have 22, uh, 20 kN. We will have 20 kN. Now 20 kN is a point load. We are considering that this UDL is concentrated at one point. Now where it will concentrate? At the center of the UDL. So center of the UDL is center of this 4 meter. So 4 meter is the distance. So we will say that at 2 meter, one load is acting which is 20 kN. So this is 2 meter and this is 2 meter again. So we divide 4 into 2 and 2. Now here this is simple problem. We have a simply supported beam, 22 kN is acting downward and 20 kN another force is acting downward. Now we will solve this problem. So let us say that this is point A and this is point B. At point A, how many reactions will be there? 2. Yes. So we have AY we have AX because it is a pin uh, support so at pin support we have AX and AY roller support we will have only B1 because it is a roller support it has only one reaction so only BY will be there now we have to solve for these three unknown AX, AY and B1 similarly to like to the previous problem we have to set our sign convention in the start this is plus, plus and clockwise moment is plus. So again we will consider the beam is in equilibrium and we will apply conditions of equilibrium. So sum of all the forces in the x direction in this system must be equal to zero if it is in equilibrium. Then yes, we, we consider that the system is in equilibrium. If it is not in equilibrium, then it is not a stable design. So if Ax uh, some of the forces in x direction is equal to 0 that means that Ax is the only force acting in the x direction so that will be equal to 0. So Ax is 0. To find Ay and By we can apply another condition of equilibrium and let us say that I am applying sum of the moment at point A equal to 0. Why I am applying at point A? If I am taking moment about point A, so moment due to AX will be 0 because it is passing from point A. Moment due to AY will be equal to 0. Again it is passing from A. So only unknown will be BY and I will have one equation, one unknown which I can find easy. So let me write the equation for uh, sum of the moment about point A. So we have 22 kN here producing clockwise moment so I will write 22 times 1 because the distance is 1 meter here 
Then I have 20 kN and the distance for the 20 kN is 1 plus 1, 2 and again this another 2, 4 meter. 20 times 4. The third force is BY which is reaction at support B. So BY is producing moment anti-clockwise. So I will take it negative minus BY times the distance and distance will be the total length of the beam which is 6 meter and this will be equal to 0. Now to just we have to simplify this and we will find B1. So this will be 22 plus 80 minus 6 By equal to 0. So this is 102, 22 plus 80 is 102 minus 6 by equal 0 so 6 by equal 102 if you bring the 6 by on the other side of the equation so it will be 6 by equal 102 so by equal to 17 kilonewton now by 17 kilonewton the direct the, the sign here is positive and our assumption was that it is acting upward so if we are getting positive sign and our assumption was upward so it means yes our assumption is right and by is acting up now to find ay we can use another condition of equilibrium sum of all the forces in the y direction equal to zero and we will be able to find ay so sum of all the forces in the y direction equal to zero what are the forces produce, uh, acting in the y direction we have a y minus 22 minus 20 plus b y equals 0. So a y minus 22 minus 20 plus b y which is 17 kg equal to 0. So minus 22 and minus 20 is minus 42 so a y minus 42 plus 17 equal to 0 now we have minus 42 and plus 17 which is we can write a y is equal to 42 minus 17 and that will be equal to we have 42 minus 17 which is equal to So here I can write this a y is equal to 42 minus 17 and that is equal to that a y is equal to 25 kilonewton. So a y here is equal to 25 kilonewton. So the three unknown which was a x b y and Ay are the reaction forces on simply supported B which has a UDL of 5 kN per meter and a point load of 22 kN. So this is how we find the forces, the reaction forces due to UDL. That's it.